Horizontal Drilling. Hello guys and welcome to another Fusion 360 CNC programming tutorial video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I do CNC programming tutorial videos, especially for home Mac and Wiki CNC machines using Fusion 360. Okay, um, in this video I'm going to show you how to program um, a part like this. It has um, holes all the way around for horizontal drilling, okay? So I'm gonna start from scratch. So I'm gonna delete this um, uh, setup and I'm gonna create a new setup. So I'm, I'm gonna go up here where it says setup, okay? And my Z axis is gonna be this top face. My Y axis is gonna be this edge. And my box point is going to be that point right here, okay? And I'm going to flip the arrow by, le by left clicking on it, or I can just uh, check this box right here to flip the y axis, okay? On the stock, uh, I'm not adding any material. On the post process, I'm going to name the program horizontal underscore drilling and my program com is going to be um a millimeter wrap point that's the that's the tool that i'm going to be using okay for this part all these holes right here are, are eight millimeters in diameter okay so i'm going to select one hole right here you see right here at the bottom right corner of your screen, it's a diameter, eight millimeters, okay? Let me zoom out on his cake, okay? So I just created a setup. So next thing I'm gonna do is um, select the drilling operation. Select my tool. Let me go to um, wiki drilling uh, broad point. Can we really see? So let me make this bigger. Okay, so wrap point. I'm gonna look for that eight millimeter wrap point uh, boring bit. I'm gonna select this guy right here. Okay. So under geometry, I'm gonna have to do a tool orientation. Okay. Um. So down here where it says tool orientation, I'm gonna click on this box. Okay. I'm going to select uh, the first one, select Z axis plane and X axis, okay? So I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to start on, on the right side, okay, right here. So my Z axis is going to be, uh, it's going to be this top face, uh, front, uh, right face, I'm sorry. My X axis is going to be, my X axis is going to be this, um, Gonna be this edge right here, okay. It's gonna be this ed, ed, uh, edge right here. Sorry, okay. So that's that. Um, now I'm gonna select the uh, the holes. So um, where it says selection mode, I'm gonna select select uh, selected faces, and I'm gonna click on select right next to hole faces. I'm gonna select this hole right here. And I'm gonna check on where it says select same diameter. And boom, that's it. it. Selects everything else, okay? So that's the first one. Uh, under heights, I'm not making any changes there. Uh, cycle, cycle type is drilling, wrap it out. So I'll click okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna, um, Go on the other side of the part on the left side, and uh, I'm gonna do the same thing. So, um, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna duplicate this drilling uh, operation, or or I can hit Control D on my keyboard. That's a sh uh, the shortcut. Okay. So I'm gonna right click at it on the second one. I'm gonna rotate the model. Okay, under geometry, 
my z axis is going to be let me click on this x to clear that out it's going to be the space um x axis click on the x select this edge okay um let's see z axis is going to be this space Okay, um, X axis is going to be this edge. Okay. And my uh, whole face is, click on this X. I'll select this hole right there. And that's it, okay. Click OK. So I got right and left uh, um, edges uh, uh, program already, okay. So uh, let's, do, uh, the, uh, let's do the back. Okay, so let me rotate the model. I'm going to do the same thing. Right click, duplicate, select the third one. Right click, edit under geometry. Click on this X under uh, next to whole faces. Down here, which says uh, Z axis, click on this X, select this face. X axis is going to be this top edge. Click on this X. Select this edge. Uh, let's go back up here with the uh, geometry. Click on whole faces. Select, select that hole. Okay. Click OK. And that's it. Now let's do the front edge. So uh, right click, duplicate. Select the last one. Right click, edit. Okay. So whole um, faces. We'll do the same thing. All right. X on the Z axis, X, select this face. Right here where it says X axis, edge, click on the X, select this top edge. Okay, let's go back up here next to whole faces, click on select, select the hole, and that's it. Click OK. That's that, okay? So I programmed uh, the part already, so I'm right click simulate. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm I'm drilling all the way around. Okay, so um, <clears throat> uh, the holes have different uh, depths. So let me show you. Uh, let me go to uh, display settings. See the monitor right here. Click on this arrow. Visual style wireframe. I'm gonna put on top view. Okay, see it. I think this ones are 20, uh, 20 millimeters, and the ones in the uh, in the back and the front are, are twelve. Okay, so um, let's go back to visual style. Uh, yeah, visual style, uh, display settings, visual style. I'll select shaded with visible edges only, okay? So I'm gonna post process this program. Right click, post process. Okay, let me cancel you, or, or you can go up here if you want, okay? That's the post process. See the G1, G2 uh, icon right here? You can go up there if you want. So right click, post process. <clears throat> Let me post uh, process this program. Let's go to Whoopbop 8.0. File, open, and tutorials, horizontal drilling. You notice I don't have anything here. I um I used to have more uh, programs, but I got my PC back, so a lot of things got um, wiped out. So uh, I have to get a new uh, new graphics card, um, a new hard drive. So I finally got my PC back, so I'm going to be making more videos for you guys. I'm going to try to post three videos a week, okay? So, uh, let me open this program. And you see it. And see it's on, um, it's on top view, okay? See, I got the horizontal drilling macros, okay? I got, um, I got all 12 macros here. I'll select the first one, double left click on it. Um, see that uh, it's 25 millimeters, uh, the ones on the right and the left. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's the feet, uh, diameter of the, uh, the bit. Okay. Let me select, uh, let me select the front one. It's right here. Okay. And that's going to be 12 millimeters. Okay. Reset view. Okay. 
me go to variables uh, tab. Okay. <clears throat> Everything is great. All right, guys. So that's it uh, for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also don't forget to hit that notification, no notification bell so you don't miss any future content. Okay, guys. So take care. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.